Hey everybody, welcome back. So I think I have everything mounted and in place. I think it's pretty much all done except for the um, the four sides and of course the door for the front and everything. However, I'm going to do that. Let me show you what I wound up doing with the power supply. I changed my mind about, oh, let me turn the light on here. I changed my mind about the power supply and I found this particular part off Thingiverse for the front. Um, only problem with it was the um, power switch was in the back on the other side with the wire so I remixed it to put the, um, the switch over where there would be easy access to it I also extended it back about 10 or 15 millimeters so that it could be screwed to the power supply the um, other bracket in yellow there that's just the standard one off of a different thing of her item and as you can see I added an extra piece of wood to the bottom of my feet and I did that not only to give it a little extra height but so I could slide it forward a ways obviously shorter the tipping point but um, and not and be able to work on it before with just the four legs if I slid it forward at all the front legs would fall off the front and I would have a mess so I did those things and of course the power supply the control box is mounted over there and um, I've got the I just grabbed this I just grabbed the LCD mount and bent it in my hand so it was more of it a 90 and um, tacked it down there. This spool holder I got from Thingiverse, really kind of nice. It takes a little effort to get it assembled and working, but it's got four skate bearings and then this screw just adjusts the size up and down through your different size of spools. Seems to work pretty nice. Um, if I had it to do again, I don't know that I'd use the IKEA lac table. It, I mean, it looks like this nice thick block, but it's really all hollow and it's very thin fiberboard. You can't really screw much of anything to it. Screws don't hold in it any very well. You know, I can understand it if you have no access to woodworking tools or have no woodworking skills, and my woodworking skills aren't exactly what you'd call professional level. On a scale of one to 10, they're probably a three and a half. But um, if I had to do it again, I think I'd probably just build it from scratch. But I didn't, I got this now, so we're going with it. Um, what else? When it's all put together and the sides are in, these wires here will obviously all be tucked into this slot and there's more than enough room since I lengthened everything. And um, yeah, all we've pretty much got to do is just confirm that everything is working at this point and then I can get on with the back sides and the front. And to me, this is going, going to be more of a utility cabinet than a display case. So. While it might be cool to have all four sides be clear, it's expensive that um, the Perspex or the, the other clear hard materials, polycarbonates and other things, they're expensive. It would cost probably a couple hundred bucks and I don't really want to put that into it. Like I say, it's not a display case. So I think the back and the sides are just going to be, are just going to be probably fiberboard or something similar. And um, the front may be the same. I'll probably have hinges and a latch, a magnetic latch in the front, but um, I'll probably wind up also putting in some, you know, six by six square pieces of clear in it that they're pretty inexpensive, and that should get me a um, the rest of the enclosure done hopefully in the fifty seventy dollar range instead of the two hundred dollar range. Later on down the road, if this little proof of concept turns out to be good, I'm probably not liking the IKEA lac table enough to want to keep it for long, so. If the proof concept works and I ever decide to rebuild it, I may go for all clear. We will see. But for right now, let's get something printed. And I don't have a lot of filament on here. One thing I also didn't mention I like about this filament holder is it pulls pretty much straight down on the filament, or nearly straight down. That way if you get a little bit of a tangle, it doesn't pull the spool off the holder. My Alpha Wise U20, the way I have it set up, you get much of a tangle and it pulls the spool right into the machine and it has caused me a couple of failed prints before. So let's get something started. Like I say, I did not have a lot of filament on this spool. So let's just print something and print from SD card and how about a soap dish? Sounds pretty cool, huh? Start soap dish, print, and I already had it up to temperature so it should start pretty quick. And one thing you'll probably notice is this thing makes no noise at all outside the fans. With the ceiling fan on and the air conditioner running, you can't even hear the thing. It's crazy.
seriously, this camera has a good microphone. Can you hear that at all? It is dead silent. It's nuts. It's creepy. Don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep constantly looking around to make sure it hasn't quit. I heard the travel sound slightly, but the normal motions, you don't get that singing at all in the corners. Anyway, this is just a proof that everything is working before I move on. But other than that, everything is done. If you guys have any suggestions for me or comments, please leave them below. And um, I may pop in and show you the finished product. This, of course, is PLA, and on the, the hot end, it doesn't print PLA quite as good as the stock hot end. The all-metal hot end that's in this doesn't, mainly because of the lowered retraction settings. I'll probably pop back in and show it to you. And if you have any suggestions for me about the enclosure, leave them below. And I um, hope you guys had a great weekend. It's over here now, but um, we're starting a new week, and we'll get this thing going. Talk to you all later. Bye for now.